I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too! Yep, that's the door. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you! Thanks, I feel so much better now. <gasps> hey, Freya! What, can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Does nothing. Freya, you should have stayed with Sindri. Father, where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? 
you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything! I cannot get to Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us! Offered peace if we don't move against him! Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecies, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. <laughs> In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin. And he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. What we found here... Maybe if you spoke to him... Tears alive? Yeah. We... we broke him out of Svartalfarn. Impossible! The Nine Realms are closed to all! No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! <laughs> Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. I like climbing.
Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think... Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! <laughs> I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Give me a sec. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Oh. Oh. Do they ever quit? Alphine Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal it back. <laughs> Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? 
Really? Now? You think this stuff grows on trees? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. We do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. 
Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first... Time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but... Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim, 